Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. Today I wanted to show you guys just a few pieces that I've purchased from Boohoo and Torrid recently. I think I picked up everything from their Black Friday. I keep wanting to say Black High Day. Their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. Um, so I have just kind of finally am getting things in from Torrid a month later. I talked about it in my last haul video that I'm like struggling with their shipping so much recently. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to show you the pieces that I've purchased. I'm going to try them on for you guys today um, and just see how it goes from there. So let's do this. So first we're going to talk about some of the pieces that I got from Torrid. Um, I only got a few items because like my last haul video I said, I've kind of been struggling with them and their shipping. So these are just things that are like trickling in, trickling in months later, right? No, it's not. It's been probably about a month since I purchased these. So this first top um, is actually one. It's really kind of interesting because it's one I had when I was bigger that I ended up getting rid of when I lost a ton of weight. Um, so this is like a chiffon. You can obviously see through it. Um, little piece here it has the ruffles down the front and it buttons all the way down it has a little bit of a cinched waist it has like some elastic and smocking detail at the waist um, so it does kind of flow out at the bottom here but not too too much it's not like a super baby doll um, style top but then it has um, just a little you know circular collar here I did get it in a size one um, because you know that's what I got it in I haven't tried it on yet so um, the try on piece is the first time that I will see it I'm sorry it's messing with my lights um, but it's really cute it's a really basic piece that I can wear underneath a ton of cardigans um, and stuff that I wear to work you could even wear it on your on its own obviously it's short sleeve top but um, you know I don't really feel comfortable doing that so um, but I, I always am always on the hunt for something that I can wear underneath the cardigan underneath the sweater at work um, so this is a really great piece and like I said I actually I had the exact same shirt um, a couple years ago and I wore it to death and then I had to give it away because it got too big so um, I got this one to use now the exact same style of top but just in a black and white gingham print um, again I just really I really got a lot of use out of this type of a shirt when I had it before and I forget I think it was like a 40% off sale so I was like you know I'm looking for some pieces for work that's where I'm struggling to like have clothes um, that fit in our professional looking so I just I ended up grabbing this one too um, because I really I'm into plaid and um, this kind of print so and it's black and white so it will go with like my bazillion black sweaters and cardigans that I have so it's perfect um so same same exact style same material same ruffle everything's the same on it um but again it's just a really basic work piece that I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna get a ton of use out of I've already actually worn it so One of the clearance items I got from Torrid and it's just a tank top um, it is cotton and it has this really cute kind of detailing down at the bottom um, and it kind of matches along the lines of the lace here at the top I just thought it was really really pretty I feel like it's gonna be a great piece that I can either bulk up no, that I can either dress up or dress down so I would honestly feel comfortable wearing this to work with a black cardigan and slacks um, some jewelry and you've kind of dressed it up and then come summertime I'm gonna be able to wear this with some ripped you know distressed capri jeans and some flip-flops and I'll be good to go so I thought this was a really pretty piece like I said it was on clearance so it was <laughs> excuse me cheaper I don't know how cheap it was right now but um it was it was a decent price and so I figured I would go ahead and grab it it's super comfortable <coughs> excuse me it's super comfortable super breathy breathy breezy um and you know I like towards tank tops I feel like some of their t-shirts to me are a little bit too clingy but I feel like these are actually um pretty decent I like the material uh, that it's made out of and how it kind of it wears so and it's comfy. I actually wore it to bed the other night. Don't judge me. I 
cord is also a tank top that was on clearance. It is this really pretty printed neckline tank top. It's in a really pretty kind of slate gray coloring. Um, and I just, like I said, it's another easy piece. It was on clearance, so it was cheap enough. And it's something where I feel like there's enough detail where I can throw it underneath a cardigan and feel comfortable wearing it to work. Um, or, you know, I'm just gonna be able to dress it down and wear it in my everyday life. So I really liked this. I think the detailing is so pretty here on the neckline, right? Isn't that really pretty? And it's just kind of screen printed on, um, but it's really, really beautiful. I think, you know, the contrast behind between that and the background color really makes it pop. And I think you wouldn't, you know, you don't obviously even need jewelry or anything, uh, maybe something simple on underneath it, but I think it's just a really pretty basic. That's, that's how I am lately. I'm just really pretty basic. was waiting on a pair of boots to come in I'm actually I bought a pair of loafer like slides for work but I brought them to work already and uh, they stay at my desk because I live in flip-flops and slippers outside of work but they were so adorable I'll link them down below they have like a little um, embellishment of a beaded bee like a bumblebee on the top of the little loafer thing they're so adorable I will link them below if they're still available they were just super cute um, but then I also got the black boots that I've been trying to, um, I've been trying, I've been on the hunt for like your basic black boot. Um, I don't know that I'm like a thousand per percent, I don't know that I'm a thousand percent thrilled with these, but they're cute, they're comfy, so I'm keeping them. I really, um, I really for some reason like the contrast of the brown heel and the rest of it is all black. It's in like this shiny, it's not leather. Maybe it's like supposed to be faux suede, I don't really know, but it's like the shiny material which, you know, I could do without, but it has this buckle here with the cross stitching detail. It has an, focus on the boot, bitch. <laughs> it has an actual button or buckle there. It has inside zip closure. The back of it here does have a little bit of elasticity so that it, you know, will fit a little bit better in case you have wider th uh, calves. And then it does have a working buckle here on the top as well. These do just go up to my knee. Um, they're very comfortable, I've already worn them. And like I said, I've just been really on the hunt for an easy pair of black boots that I can throw on over a pair of skinny jeans um, and kind of be out the door. I don't really wanna think about the, the shoes that I have to wear all the time. So I actually don't, I'm not good with shoes. Like I don't wear heels, I'm not very good with shoes. So I just want something basic that I can toss on, not really worry about, and these are it for the time being. So these are really cute towards boots. Oh, look at the strings already coming out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. But like right here. Can you see that? Everything else is sewn down really tight, but that is gonna looks like it's about to tear. Anyways, um, Tord's boots can be a little bit expensive, but I've had a pair of boots that I've been wearing for the past three years that I got from them. And like I said, don't ever pay full price at Tord. Please, please don't ever pay full price. Wait till the sale, wait till Hope Cash comes out. Hope Cash, I know that some people were saying, I don't know when it's gonna be like spendable, um, but they do it a few times a year where you earn Hope Cash on the purchases that you're buying now. Um, and then you'll get a coupon, the Hope Cash is for like, essentially making everything half off. So it's like 25 off of 50, 50 off of 100, and it goes up to I think 200 off of $400, which is insane. But you know, that's just how tour it is. They want you to spend $400 and then, you know, then they're just gonna give you a coupon for half off. I don't know, I don't really get it. But some people were saying the last time that you could use Hocash that um, the codes weren't working for everybody, that you actually had individualized codes based off of your purchases that you would have to use. In the past, you could like Google Hocash codes, like 200 off 400, and there was just one code for that one discount and anybody could use it. It could be used a number, you know, however many times it was gonna be used. Um, some people were saying they, they done, had done away with that and they were giving individualized codes. But last Hope Cash period, I just Googled it and I was able to use the generic code that I received and got the full discount. So whenever you see that they are having their Hope Cash period where you can spend your Hope Cash, do some digging online. It's really, it's pretty easy. I, I don't even know. I just literally Google toward Hope Cash the, the time, like the month and the year that it is. Um, and they come up with a listing. And it worked for me last time. I can't guarantee because like I said, a lot of people were saying they've changed um, the process, but 
not the case for me. So um, I would definitely wait until you had a coupon or they went on sale or something because Torrid, Torrid's a little bit crazy. They're a little bit out the damn mind, okay? <laughs> um, I, yeah, I would definitely not ever buy anything full price there. Just from me to you, a little piece of wisdom, word of advice. Okay, now on to the Boohoo pieces that I've picked up. Um, the first piece, I like I said before in my last video, I am into the weird sleeves. I'm into, or not maybe on my last video, but my tour inside the dressing room, I'm into the weird sleeves. So it is this really pretty, like chunky knit sweater. It's a gorgeous, like maroon color. Look at it, gorgeous. And then we have this kind of bell sleeve but it has this one piece of elastic here on the sleeve itself to kind of hold it up, I'm guessing. But it's a really pretty, just cozy sweater. Uh, it has a regular crew knit top here. Um, and I just really think it's gonna be very comfy to wear on casual days to work. And then obviously just like in life in general. I could probably pair this with some jeggings or some skinny jeans and these black boots fairly easily. And just like be on, right? Be on my merry way. I just thought it was really cute. It's actually much better quality than I was expecting to get from Boohoo because Boohoo, you know, they're cheap, but some of their clothing reflect that price point. But this, I'm actually, it's a very thick, I just got makeup on it. It's very chunky, thick material. Um, and I just, I don't know, I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it this, this winter season, I hope so. It's really, it's, I think it's a good piece. Um, kind of looks like what I'm wearing now, <laughs> but it's just this camo t-shirt. It's a very like muted camo though, which I really like. It almost has some like blush pink or, or maybe it's just like a tanny mauve um, patterning in here, which I just, I really think it's beautiful. Um, and I really just got this, to, you know, for my casual days. I can't wear this to work, unfortunately. Um, but it was really, really inexpensive. Uh, and I don't really have much Boohoo like t-shirts. I haven't really purchased them. So I saw this, I'm into the camo clearly, and I figured I would try it out because like I said, it was fairly inexpensive. Oh, it's backwards. It looks the same on the front and on the back. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a really comfy, cozy top and it works really well. I've worn it with, um, you know, a cardigan. I've worn it with like a long, um, what are they called? Duster cardigan almost. Um, and I just, I don't know. I think it's very, I'm into the easy, easy fashion. If you can't tell, I feel like I put a lot of thought into an outfit and then I go to put it on and I'm like, girl, you look like a fool. So I'm kind of into things that I can rely on fairly quickly. I also have three kids. I work full time, so I don't have a ton of time to be like fussing and messing with my outfits. So anytime I can find an easy piece, I know what I can wear it with. I quickly can throw together an outfit that is for me. So this is really cute. I really like the pattern of it though, right? Very cute. This next piece that I got from Boohoo is actually one that was inspired by, I think it's Learning to Be Fearless. She had done a Boohoo haul and had a bunch of really cute clothes in it, including this. And it was the reason, the whole reason I went to the damn website because I feel like that's the whole point of YouTube is, um, making you spend money on cute things that you don't have, like the money you don't have on cute things, okay? Um, so I really thought this was a cute on her and I figured, again, something super basic, super simple, throw on under a cardigan, a sweater, throw on, I bought these liquid leggings that I'll show in um, hopefully my next haul. Um, and so I was like, you know, maybe this would go well with those and some boots and we're golden. Maybe it's because I'm older, I don't know, it just doesn't work the same on me like it did on her. But it's this really cute white top, um, it says female on it in like this metallic print. I don't even know how they did this, because it is like, I don't know if you can see, but it's three dimensional. It's like not backed on the inside, it's just like, I don't know, like ironed up that way. I don't know how they did it, to be honest. It's not like, I don't know. But it's this metallic and it just says female, short sleeve white top. Um, again, super basic. My one kind of issue with it is, I don't know if you can see on the sleeve how it kind of, the seam goes to a point here. Well, it does the exact same thing when you're wearing it. So like, it's a drop shoulder sleeve already to begin with. So down here on my arms, 
it like goes out like that and it's just the weirdest thing ever it's not like it's supposed to be like a bell sleeve or anything crazy like that it doesn't on both sides I just don't know it comes to a point and then you have these super short little sleeves and I I don't really get it I don't know I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in the try on portion I just don't understand but we'll see and again I don't return things so it is what it is it will stay in my closet I guess if I'm wearing it underneath a cardigan it doesn't really matter right but it's just like why it doesn't make much sense boo boo I don't understand why y'all would just let this go out like that like doesn't no it's like cute and I don't think it looks like that on Alexander on learning to be a fearless um I don't think it looks like that at all on her so I don't know I'll show y'all what I'm like what I'm talking about when I try it on super duper basic it's actually inside out but I'm too lazy to switch it around so it's just this white t-shirt super slinky I don't even know the type of material that it's made out of um, I don't know I guess I could tell you the names of these things because I still have the tag this is a plus carries oversized basic tee um, I don't know I guess I just got it because it's an oversized something um, I figured I could wear it with some skinny jeans or jeggings and be on with my day I don't always love this slinky material because I feel like it can cling to the parts that I don't really want to have things cling to like my stomach um, but you know we'll see uh, I'll try it on for you guys and you guys can let me know if you think it's passable or if I should just let it sit in my closet and live there forever ever more um, but again just a white tee it does again have the drop sleeves here almost like a bat wing style if you look at how much fabric there is right here I don't really care for that style um, but we'll see how it looks when I try it on this next piece here I think I was like really excited for something different that I could wear to work as like a cardigan it's this not a blazer but it's a little coat thing here it has no buttons or anything doesn't have pockets um, but it, the waistline it has like a drop waist here and then it has this cute little ruffle and then the sleeves are the bell sleeve style um, I don't really know the material that it's made out of what is it called Caitlin I'm gonna have like two pieces that I tell you the names of things it's a plus Kate ruffle hem collarless jacket um, so yeah so I guess like I said I'm just looking for interesting pieces interesting basics that I can wear I'm always wearing black cardigans and sweaters I've said that about 500 times during this video so there you go shocker um, but I just thought it was something kind of different and cute and unique and something I don't I've not seen on other people especially in my place of employment that's just not something that they would do so um, I'm usually I'm not gonna say I'm like the weird one but I feel like makeup I feel like I'm a little bit out there compared to other people on my <laughs> and my employer so um, I haven't yet worn it I haven't really tried it on too much and played with it so we'll have to see how this looks together I feel like I've seen every single person who's done a haul from Boohoo has included this piece, this dress, in their haul because it's freaking adorable, okay? That's the reason why everybody has it. Um, so it's this plaid. I got it in the olive green. It comes in a red. The red was beautiful. I just saw it on another girl recently and I was like, I think I need to go buy it. So it's this really adorable dress. Um, the hem, the line here hits right like a, un, underneath my bust which is perfect it has three quarter length or I don't know they're not short sleeves they're not long sleeves I don't freaking know but it has these cute little ruffles on the sleeves here it has just your basic crew neck collar line and it goes down to 
just a little bit above my knees, but I thought it was so festive and adorable. I think I'm gonna wear it on Christmas Eve. I also got a pair, I got a pair of like a chunky fishnet stocking that I'll try on with these, but I couldn't like hold it up because I tried it on last night and now they're like shriveled little pieces of string, so. I did buy those at Boohoo and I'll try them on with this. Um, so I wanted to wear that and maybe the knee high boots, I'll try it on with that. Um, I also got a couple, I got another pair of boots um, at TJ Maxx. Maybe I'll show that in this haul too. Um, but yeah, so this a super adorable uh, dress. And I feel like the construction of this piece is really nice. The quality of the piece is really nice. I love the weight of the fabric. It's like a thicker material so it's not I don't think I'm gonna be like frigid and freezing when I'm wearing this outside in winter um I, I just really really love it and it look like I said it looks beautiful on everybody else that I've seen it on so here's hoping that it also looks cute on me so we'll see all right guys I had to jump on right quick because I wanted to show you the dress obviously so adorable no the thigh uh, not the thighs the tights that I got from boohoo they are this is what they came in. Whale net, that makes me feel real great about myself, but these are the Plus Lace Fishnet Black Tights. They are really weird because they are literally these, this size hole all the way up, which makes me feel a little bit weird. But um, another reason that I wanted to jump on is because, so these are the boots that I hauled from Torrid. I don't even know what you can see because I can't tell on my camera. Um, so these are the boots that I just hauled. Super adorable, very casual. I don't know if you can tell. But then these boots I hauled a little while back. They're the lace-up kind of combat boots. I don't know which one I should wear with this dress. I don't know if this is too like typical with this kind of a dress. And then I feel like this is too like not, it doesn't go. Um, so I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but I absolutely love this dress. What do you think? What do you think? So cute. I wish I had pockets though. And then since I mentioned these boots with that other dress here, I did get these adorable little booty things at TJ Maxx recently. They're like moto boots, aren't they just the cutest? I really, really love them. They were like $35, $32, 35, I don't know. They're by the brand White Mountain. They're super comfortable. I, again, I'm trying to figure out how to wear them because I feel like I don't like pants tucked in, but then in the winter, is it like weird to have a little bit of ankle showing? I don't think it is. I think that's the cute way to wear them, so that's how I've been wearing them, is with a little bit of ankle cleavage or something, ankle showing. Um, but I really just like the aesthetic of them. I feel like they look a bit edgy. I feel like they look like motor moto boots, motorcycle boots. Um, they have a nice chunky thick heel, and there you have it. <laughs> So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's all that I've got right now from Tor Torrid and Boohoo. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know down below if there are any other places you'd like to see a haul from me from. I am willing to sacrifice my time and my money to shop for you. That's how much I love you guys. So let me know if you want me to go shopping anywhere else and show you a haul or inside the dressing room. Let me know down below what your favorite piece was. I'm interested to know if um, you know, we kind of have the same style and similar interests and likes, or let me know what your least favorite piece was. If you hated everything I bought, you can also feel free to leave that down below. Um, I don't, I mean, it is what it is, right? We all are individuals and I accept that. If you don't like my style, you're kind of with the majority of people on that one. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really love you and I appreciate you. I really, really love you. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.